Hi, welcome to Tiny's Crafty Creations. Thanks for taking time out of your day to hang out, to chat, craft, and create with me. Today I'm coming on with some bunny rosettes using those picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. And they're in several different colors, which I love. But I'm sticking with the three themed colors, um, the pink, the yellow, and the blue, because I really love those. So this is what they look like when they finished. They're just a cute little rosette and it's also using some daisy paper. And I did some circles with that and this is the punch I use. I'm not sure, I think it might be like a two inch circle maybe punch. Let me see, I think it's two inches. Yeah, it's a two inch circle punch. So I'm using that punch and I punched out a bunch of them. And then the bunnies and some inks, some stickles and some flower pieces for the back. And it, it comes together really simply and it's so cute. So I took the stickles and I'm using the matching stickles. I don't have yellow, but gold works beautifully. And I'm filling in the centers of the flowers with the gold, with the stickles. I'm going to show you how I created these beauties. It's just really simple. Grabbing uh, 72 inches of crepe paper and I'm just pulling it out and getting it to that 72 inches. And then I'm folding it in half so it's coming back to that 36 inches. We got it to fold here. So I've got it at that 36 inches on the fold. And I'm just going to create that rosette. I'm going to create a fold there. And then we're just going to fold until we get the shape of the rosette. And I'm holding my thumb on the center here. They work up really quickly. So you're just tucking and kind of folding, but not giving it a crease fold. And I like the doubled effect on these because I think they look pretty when they're completely thick like that. And you can open them up later and add uh, glitter and whatnot and stuff like that. They would make a cute little wand, but I like them as the little rosettes. And if you put foam dots on the back of them, you can make them into a pretty sticker. So as you can see, that worked up very nicely and I'm just tucking a little bit but holding with my finger in the back on that back one in there and I'm just tucking because I want to make sure that they're even throughout now you can use a regular stapler for this part but I prefer the ones that will open so if you can get an open one that would be better and then you just go ahead and add a few staples because these staples are going to get covered. And you want to make sure your staples are going to go all the way through. If they don't, that's okay. Just go to the back and add a couple more staples. Like I said, they're going to get covered up in the back anyways. So what we want to do first is flip it over and go to your back. Grab a piece of paper um, and whatnot. And you just want to add some glue onto that. And I'm using hot glue. You don't have to use hot glue. So then flip it. And push down you want to do the back first because your staples are poking through on the back and if they're on the back it's not gonna hurt your fingers when you go to apply the front so that's perfect and then I'm taking my little daisy cut out here and I'm taking the colors that match with my thing and I'm just using my ink pad I'm not using my dauber for this part so I'm just taking the ink pad, and this one's really chopped up. I'm not sure what I did with it. So it's got a little bit of inkies everywhere, so that's okay. So we're going to add our hot glue to this as well. And I'm only adding a little bit to that center. And then the reason we do the back is so we can push down on that part without burning our fingers. So we got that, and now we're going to grab our little bunny. And you can break them, but I prefer to cut them. 
So we're getting rid of that little pick there. And then we're adding some hot glue to that. And we're finding, because I'm using a patterned paper, I need to find the right position of it. There we go. And I'm adding it down a little bit off of there. I did, with the yellow one, add it to the center, and I kind of like it off-centered a little bit more. So it kind of looks like that they're hopping into the flower patch kind of thing. Then we're going to add a little bit of glue right onto that, and that's all the glue we're going to need. Just like that covering up that little bunny tail and we're making it 3d by doing that now what I like to do is some of them are off centered so I like to go ahead and trim them up a little bit so that they're not so off centered from each other and I'm just following that circular pattern around it just eliminating any of those ucky edges there we go that looks better and I'll vacuum that up later. So now I'm going to take my pink stickles. And I'm just going to go into those dots. The centers of the flowers there. I'm almost out of my pink stickles. Almost time to get more. Oh, I got a little bit of a drop. We'll fix that. Now following the pattern of the folds. We're going to go on the outside of our circle here, and we're going to add stickles right onto those folds. Just because, you know, I like to add sparkle. And there we go. That rosette is finished. It's really, really cute. Now you can add a wand, like I said. So I do have these sticks here that would make a great wand. You would just add your glue here and then tuck it into that little double piece there into your crepe paper and voila you have a wand you can add some little um, ribbons down here hanging down below and that would make a really cute wand wouldn't it but like right I said right now I'm just making them rosettes I just think they're really cute as rosettes for now I might make them wands later on, but for now, they're going to stay rosettes. And that is my tutorial on how I'm making the bunny rosettes. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.